Hi, this is Mrs. Slater, and in today's lesson, which is not covered in the book, we will learn the ambiguous case, which is using law of signs to solve a triangle given two sides and a non-included angle. Okay, so when given side-side angle, you're going to get a picture that looks like this. And sometimes it's unclear when you're going to have an acute, obtuse, a right triangle, or maybe not even a triangle at all. So I wanted to show a little bit of what it might look like. The constant sides are going to be side B and side um, opposite of C, which would be up the top, and angle A. So here's the first situation. Now, if we move the blue line, this is another situation that we could have. A right triangle could be that opposite side. You could also have an obtuse triangle, or the opposite side could not, doesn't even have to be long enough to even reach the other side. So you may not even have a triangle of, at all. Um, and there also are some cases where you may have an acute and an obtuse, and you're going to have to solve both triangles. Okay, so let's see if we can make a little bit of discoveries with case number one. I went ahead and drew uh, two centimeters in, so just to make sure you knew that's where it comes from. That two centimeters will not reach the opposite side AE, right, right here. So because it doesn't reach, therefore no triangles can be formed, and therefore there is not going to be any um, solutions. You cannot find any triangles that are going to work. So those are nice. But I do want you to know also what the relationship between the height, which would be a altitude straight down from vertex C, I guess E, yeah, no C in this case, um, of the triangle. So if you look at the height of the triangle, we know that, this would be little a, the height would be between where A would be less than H and H would be less than B. So that's what the relationship I was talking about. Okay, so if we move on to the next case, which in this one, I'm going to draw four centimeters in the picture. So four centimeters is gonna go from here to here. And as you can see, let me go ahead and move, move the ruler. And as you can see, that four centimeters can fit into two places. You can have two triangles in this situation. One is going to be acute and the other is going to be obtuse. Okay, and then how does that have a relationship with, with the height? Okay, so if we put the height in here, the, uh, the opposite side, which we call A, uh, B is going to have to be the longest, so then H is going to be the shortest. So H is less than A is less than B. Next case, we are making a 2.5 centimeter side. First of all, in case number three, I would like to uh, correct a typo. It is 3.5 centimeters. And once I drew 3.5 centimeters in for side A, you'll notice it's only going to create one triangle, which in this case is a right triangle. So the relationship between the height, the height and side A would be equal to each other, but still less than side B. So in case four, I have another typo. I want you to make that an 8.3 centimeters. So this would be 8.3 centimeters. And uh, notice on this one, side A is um, actually larger than side B. So there is no way that we can get two triangles out of this. So only one triangle can be formed. And it is because side A is going to be the biggest this time H would be the smallest, and B would be the middle link. So there's only going to be one triangle when that situation happens. The next case, I would like you to get out your uh, ruler or, pro or geometer and see if you can put six centimeters at this vertex and decide if there are zero, one, or two triangles that can be formed and what's the relationship. And then we'll talk about in that one in class. Okay, so now let's uh, look at some examples. This is what your homework will be like or your in-class assignment is going to be like. So first of all, let's go ahead and label 
I always like to start with an open-ended triangle because I don't know if it's 0, 1, or 2. Angle A is 40, B is 17, and side A is 5. So there's my unknown. And I want to go through first and use law of sines because I know that 40 and 5 are opposite of each other. We have sine of 40 over 5, and that's going to equal the sine of B over 17. So when I solve for B, I get an error. So that error message means that that side is not long enough. Um, again, that means that side A is not long enough to form a triangle, so there would be no solution here. Now let's try the next one with a side of 12 for the opposite of A. 40 is in the angle and B is 17 again. And um, let's find out what happens in this situation. Again, law of sines will tell us that sine of 40 over 12 equals the sine of big B over 17. And go ahead and push pause and find out what B is. In this one, you should get 65.6 if you're rounding to the nearest tenth, but I'm going to go ahead and round it to the nearest degree. So that's going to be 66 degrees for angle B. So this one does work. So we're going to have at least one triangle. That's going to be the acute triangle. And then um, I also want to find out if there is an obtuse triangle in here as well. So I'm going to make another side 12 and see if it is going to be an obtuse triangle. And then that triangle, being that the, this is an isosceles triangle, this angle right here has got to be 66, which makes the supplement 114. And that means we are going to have two triangles. The first one is going to be the like labeled with a 1, so I'm going to put that A1 is 40, and then you have 66. Angle C, if we subtract both of those from 100, we get 74 degrees. And then the second triangle, we'll call that with A2 and B2. Uh, A2 is not going to change, it's still going to be 40 degrees. But then if we subtract that one from 180 degrees, we get 26 degrees. Okay, so that solves the angles. Now let's go ahead and find out what side uh, C, little c, is going to be. We need to know this angle, and because we know the 26 and 74, we'll be able to solve that. So let's go back to sine of 40 over 12 equals the sine of 74 over little c. And we can solve that. Um, also, sine of 40 over 12 is going to equal the sine of 26 all over little c, and that will complete both, tri both triangles. So by setting up both proportions, we are able to solve the triangle. The first uh, sides we know are 12 and 17. Those are both given. And then uh, side C, if you solve this proportion, you get 17.9. And if you solve the second proportion, you get 8.2. Okay, and that concludes today's lesson.